Welcome back, our second coach of the day. I'm Mike Straub here for Centennial Cookoff 2013. Tongue twister there, pardon me, Coach, here with Mike Hoyt, McDaniel Green Tear. Coach, how are you? How are you doing? Great. Thank you, Mike. It's good to be here today. It is a good day. It's always fun to get the season going. You know, you have to put the suit on before we can put the pads on, so to speak, and kind of talk about this. I joke around in media days. Everybody's everybody's a champion on media day. Yeah. You can always make yourself sound real good. But, Coach, as we look at your team, we look at what's happening there in your second season now, but still looking for your first win at this school. So how, how just motivating is that? How hungry are your guys to go through last year, to get into the spring, and just come back re-energized? There's a lot of energy right now and a lot of resolve on our guys' part. Um, the the offseason, it, it was really good to actually have a full off season now to spend with the guys. Mm -hmm. um, at this time last year, I'd only been there for a couple months, and really I'd only had six weeks of the semester before they left for the summer. Mm -hmm to work with them in, in our strength and conditioning program and, and start to work on the things that really are the foundation of our program, you know, in terms of character, leadership, work ethic, um, mental toughness, things like that. So um, they really were excited when the season was over to get into that. Um, we saw a lot of great improvements in our strength and speed program and then uh, recruiting too. You know, this is going to be my first recruiting class. And, uh, you know, you, you heard Coach Margraff earlier talk about having great players. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no you know, secret there. The better players you have, the better football team you're going to be. So we, had a, we feel real good about our first recruiting class coming in. So that's great. So now you feel like, because you're exactly right, last year, week to week in the middle of the season, you were, you were implementing your system, your, your plans, your brand. Now you've had the time to kind of instill those values. This will be much more a Mike Hoyt football team? Absolutely. No doubt about it. You know, um, you know, no disrespect to the seniors that left, but they'd been under a, a certain system for for um, you know three of their four years um, it's tough to, to, to turn your uh, enthusiasm or, or buy into another system when you've been trained a certain way um, the seniors that are coming back have really bought into what we're doing I'm excited to see the leadership develop in that senior class and some of the younger guys as well the sophomores uh, rising juniors and, and the guys that were freshmen last year will be sophomores they've uh, they've really taken a leadership role as well Perfect. Let's talk about some of these guys. The name that jumps off the, the paper to me and probably to a lot of people is your senior running back, Joe Rollins. 3,300 yards in his first three years. Does he have an encore ready to go in this for his senior year? I think he does. Uh, just you know, talking with Joe, working with him through the off season. Um, number one, he's never worked harder. Uh, in his football career. I, I spoke with his dad a couple times over the summer and he said, Coach, this is the hardest I've ever seen Joe Rollins work uh, at any point in his athletic career. So that excites me. And just talking to him one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, and as we've had discussions about leadership and things like that, he's really grown in that aspect. Um, he has a, some personal goals that he's confided in me that he wants to accomplish um, and some team goals too, which are very lofty and excites me because I think he can accomplish every single one of those goals that he set for himself. How exciting is that in just your second year to have a, a guy come to you like that and buy in so much and confide in you like that? Really exciting, especially when it's your best player. Yeah. And that's something that we uh, spent time talking about in the off season. I said, Joe, you know, the best players have to be the hardest working players, and they've got to set the bar, set the tone for the program, and he's done that. So I'm really anxious to see what he has for his senior year. That's great. And you got some question marks out there as well. Talk a little bit about your uh, quarterback race and how that's shaping up. Yeah. Everybody wants to keep track of quarterback. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> we, we had three guys there right now that have started uh, at least one game. Some have, have started more. Um, you know, Ryan Yamada. Um, is the youngest guy there. Uh, he was a freshman last year, started at the end of the year for us. Um, Seth McFall started kind of in the middle of the year, and then um, Nick Valori was the starter early in the year. Because of injuries and stuff like that, we had to play all three. Uh, going into the spring, uh, we made it clear to those three guys they're going to be competing for the job. Um, they all worked really hard, and uh, we really have no clear-cut starter at this point. Uh, when we start up next week, it's going to be competition again. And, uh, we've laid out our expectations for them as far as what we're looking for in that starter, and uh, I'm anxious to see how that shakes out. I think it's a good thing. Anytime you have competition, mm -hmm. it raises the level of, of performance. So I think it's going to be good. Fantastic. When I think about second-year coaches, especially when you're talking about when you came in, a shorter period to put your system in and your plays in, you get into that second season. How many more wrinkles? How much more uh, dimensions to the offense do folks who McDaniel fans have looked forward to? Have seen guys really get into your playbook? Yeah, I think 
maybe not a lot of new wrinkles, but probably more streamlined. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be a lot more um, complements mm -hmm. to, to itself, run game, pass game, um, and play action and things like that. So I don't know if there's going to be a lot of um, – it won't be expanded mm -hmm. much. It Probably more streamlined is the right word. Gotcha. Um, I, th I think there's some things that we can utilize with Joe. Obviously, we've got some receivers that were uh, injured last year that didn't play for us that will be back. So I think uh, we'll be able to complement ourselves offensively uh, running pass-wise. Perfect. Let's switch to the other side of the ball. Six starters back on defense. Linebacker Mike Kuzar leads the way. Nearly 100 tackles a year ago. You know, on a winless team, you think about this, you have a lot of sympathy for your defenses who get out there and put it in every game and give it their all. So talk about what that unit's gone through and, and what they're hoping to accomplish. Yeah, you know, I think uh, Mike definitely is the leader of our defense. Uh, kind of synonymous with Joe on offense. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of had a lot of the same conversations with Mike because he is our best defensive player coming back. Uh, and he's embraced it just like Joe has in terms of his work ethic, his leadership, and, and leading the younger players in the direction that we want them to go. So we're expecting big things again from him uh, and uh, expanding his role as a senior. You touched on it, talking to the younger players. Very young team this year, which is almost the way you'd want it to be when you're trying to instill your style, right? Absolutely. That's really exciting to me. We're going to have 106 kids uh, report to camp. and. Um, We've got uh, 81 of those will be mm -hmm. freshmen and sophomores. We've got 53 new faces and then 26 sophomores coming in. So 81 of that 106 are sophomores or freshmen. So that's exciting for the future. Um, we need to have some success early and give those young guys some confidence. Uh, the young guys are going to have to realize they're going to have to play probably earlier than um, is, is um, expected in their career. Mm -hmm. But I think over the long haul, and like you said, setting the foundation for the program, that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. And the, you've been mentioning a lot about leadership and things. When you've got that many young guys, it's going to be a crucial element of this, this squad. Absolutely. One thing you've got to talk about when you're talking about McDaniel football, and it got some national attention last year, is the tradition around your game day experiences. <laughs> This drive-in, if you haven't seen this before, Google it, check it out. This is pretty interesting. This is one of a kind. What does it do for you guys? What, is it a, does it create buzz? Is there always a nice crowd because it's such a tradition of people doing this? What's it like to, to coach and play as this is going on around you? Yeah, it's an unbelievable environment. Um, you look at uh, the Weather Channel did a, a piece on it. Uh, Southern Living Magazine yeah. did a piece on it. We finished like six in the country. You know, SEC teams were the only right, ones in right. front of us, like, like LSU and Clemson yeah, and people yeah. like that. Uh, that game day atmosphere, one, it's a motivator for our players. They're excited mm -hmm. um, to be a part of that. It's a lot of fun to play in that type of atmosphere. But two, it's a great recruiting advantage yes. as well. Yes. If you're a young high school uh, player looking to play a place, you know, to play college football and have that great big time experience, mm -hmm. McDaniel's the place to, to do it. And the facility is done. It's been renovated. The facility is finished. The new uh, stadium is in place. So um, we're uh, we're really excited about that. So it's like it's like playing in a tailgate party. <laughs> Absolutely, so to speak. no doubt. Yeah, fantastic. Coach Mac, Mike Hoyt, McDaniel Green Terror, looking to turn around things this year. Coach, best of luck. Thanks for joining us in Centennial kickoff 2013. Thank you. Enjoy Appreciate the day. You. And up next, Moravian. We'll sit down with Moravian when we come back. There, Coach Jeff Puckson.